Hello, my jumping friends. Welcome to your beginner rebounding workout. This workout is for you if you haven't jumped on your trampoline a lot and are still getting comfortable with it, or if this is your very first time jumping on it. Okay, so we're just gonna go through a real simple basics today. We're also gonna turn on some music and have a great 10 minute workout just to get more comfortable with it. So before we get started, I'm just gonna go over a few of the basic tips. So come onto your rebounder and just get a feel of it. So just kind of go back and forth, wait into one side at a time and just get comfortable with that mat, okay? When you're doing this, you wanna make sure the weight is center balanced in your feet. So you don't wanna be on the tippy toes more and you don't wanna be on the heels more. You want it to be equal. So drive through the toes, drive through the heels, okay? So just do that back and forth, move those hips and get comfortable. Next step is you wanna push the hips back a little bit. Okay, so just like you're about to reach for a chair to sit down, you're just gonna slightly push them back. And when you do this, you're gonna start to feel pressure in your back, okay? We don't want that, so key here is to brace that core. So remember, let's go back to the beginning, weight center balance in the feet, hips back, and now brace the core. So when I say brace the core, it's like you're ready for somebody to punch you in the stomach and you're bracing for that impact, okay? We wanna make sure we focus on this because if we don't, we're gonna have that arch and we're gonna put a lot of pressure in the back and it's not gonna be muscular, it's gonna be skeletal and we don't want that, okay? So weight into the feet, side to side, hips back, core engaged. Next step, are you ready? Shoulders down and back, okay? We don't wanna be hunched. We wanna be proud, like you're showing off the chest. Another way to think about it is you wanna keep the shoulders away from the ears, okay? So you don't wanna be up here, down. And I know it'll take some time because it's something new, so just get used to it, side to side, feel it out, okay? We're just gonna keep it here for a second. And if you come up a little bit, that's okay too, just still focus on bracing that core. And then as you get more comfortable, you can start to push the hips back a little more. Another thing is you don't wanna keep the knees locked, okay? We don't wanna be like this. We wanna keep a slight bend in the knees, okay? So, weight center balance in the feet, hips back, core engaged, chest proud, shoulders down and back, knees slightly bent, all right? Last thing, if we wanna be really technical, just make sure you keep that neck neutral. You don't wanna be straining it or anything, just relax, all right? And then the last thing, most important part is be so proud of yourself. You're trying something new. You're getting comfortable with it. And we're just going to get better and better. Soon you're going to look back and be like, man, I'm a pro now. Okay. For this, we're going to be doing 30 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest so that we can practice a move and then take a little breather. Then we'll do three sets total of each exercise before trying to add a little more movement into it. Okay. Let's get to it. So stay in that position and we're just going to do that for 30 seconds. So side to side. Keep the arms here. So just remember those cues. Weight center balance in the feet. Awesome. Another option, if you have that pole, you can hold on to it to help with balance. So you can also be here. Hips back, knees bent, chest proud, shoulders down and back. Go to the music. And no pressure, go to the music only if you want to. And stop, rest, 10 seconds, just breathe. Keep water close by, okay? Short rest though, but we got this. All right, ready? Get low, side to side. Add the arms if you want here, or hold that pole. So it's almost like we're in a squat position. Remember, we're keeping that core engaged, so tomorrow your glutes might feel sore, your quads might feel sore, your core might feel sore, and that's okay. It's just our body saying, hey, we're trying something new. And rest. One more time. This time, I want to focus on leaning into the heels. You still want to keep those toes driving to the floor, but you don't want the knees coming over top of the knees. You want the hips back. And the knees, you're going to still be able to see your toes. Okay? Side to side. Hold the pull if you want. Sing along. Showing up the booty. <laughs> and then we're gonna switch it up with a new move. And rest. So now what we're gonna do is come back from that pole if you're holding on to it. 
we're gonna bring the feet even wider apart and get a little more into that athletic stance. Okay, so hips back, side to side. Add the arms this time. And then after this move, we're gonna get into a little bit of bouncing. So, so far, this is just like you're on the floor. You could be doing this on the floor. It just adds a little more support. And we're just getting comfortable with the feeling of the mat. Working on that athletic stance. So knees out as well. You don't want them to cave in. You want them to be driving out. Rest. Okay, so we don't wanna be like this. We wanna push out and that's gonna work the side of our booty. And who doesn't wanna work the booty? <laughs> All right, two more times. Get low, side to side. Amazing. Make sure you're driving into the heels. For this workout, you can use shoes, you can do barefoot, do whatever's comfortable for you. If you feel you need more support with your foot, then you can wear those shoes. But if you don't need that support, go barefoot. Just don't do socks because it can get slippery. And the only reason I'm not doing barefoot is because I like to have shoes on when I film. But otherwise, I'd go barefoot. Rest. You know, with the internet these days, we gotta be careful. <laughs> One more time, and then we're gonna get into some more jumping. See how good it feels to move? Let's go. Add the arms, be a little funky with it. Remember, the key is fun. Doesn't matter what you look like too, we're working out from home, even if we're in public, it doesn't matter. But that's the benefit of working out at home, is you can do whatever the heck you want. But focus on form. Core engaged, hips back, knees out. Make sure they're not coming forward, push back. Okay, hips back are key to make sure you're not putting too much pressure on those knees. Two, one, rest. Oh yeah. All right, now let's get into some jumping a little bit. We're not gonna lift our feet up yet. So bringing the feet a little closer, about in line with your hip width, heels in, and we're just gonna push our feet into the mat. So you're just adding that body weight in, okay? Keeping the arms here, we're holding onto that pole. You're not putting weight into the arms though, you're just holding it for balance. From the side, it looks like this. So again, hips back. I'm gonna say this so many times. You'll be a pro by the end, shoulders down the back. Chest proud. Going to the beat. No pressure to go to the beat though, just if you want. <laughs> it's all about getting comfortable. Rest. And then we're gonna do it again. All right, so remember, Toes slightly pointed out as well helps. You don't want them caving in because then see how the knees follow. So drive those toes out. Keep the mat going in. We have one more song and then the first workout is complete. You are crushing it. Drive in, drive in. Hips back, keep going. It's just like you're flying a little bit. See, we're not lifting our feet up, it's just our heels a little bit. Pushing that weight in. Rest. One more time, and then we're gonna do a one more move. It's so important to start slow as well. You don't wanna overwhelm yourself. You don't wanna do a 40 minute workout and like hate it. You wanna start slow, let's go to 30 seconds, and enjoy the process. When you enjoy the process, you stick with it. You show up consistently, and then you see results. Okay? Not just physical, also mental. It feels so good to move. You're giving your body a treat. Drive the heels in. Shoulders down and back, you know the drill. So see how my back's slightly forward, but it's nice and flat. No arching. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, now what we're gonna do is the same move. We're just gonna add the arms. All right, so get ready. Hips back. We're gonna add the arms like we're swimming. That's it. You're crushing it. You're already getting comfortable with it. Breathe through the movement. You wanna work on bracing and breathing at the same time. A good way to check if you're bracing is feel that core, it'll feel a little more firm. Rest. Noise. Two more times. All right, full foot into the mat, knees out, hips back, add the arms. As we're swimming, our shoulders wanna come forward, but we're gonna pull them back still, okay? This is also helping with future strength moves we do because there's a lot of arms, back, chest, 
where you're incorporating your arms and we still want to keep those shoulders peeled down and back. Keeping those lats engaged. You'll feel that right here. Full body here. We're getting that lymphatic system going. Rest. Amazing. One more time. Let's go. the last 10 seconds. You got this. And rest. Amazing job. Once you start to do jumping jack workouts, you'll realize that at the end of each song, we like to do a power pose. So power pose it out. There's a lot of benefits. It helps increase testosterone, increase confidence. It just feels good. So you'll start to get used to that. Right now, you're probably like, yeah, right. But in a couple months, you'll be like, I promise. <laughs> But amazing job. That was the first workout we covered. Athletic stance, getting low. And then we brought it up into the bouncing a little bit. We also incorporated the arms, so we're great at mixing both right now. So we're making little steps and we're already progressing. So be so proud of yourself. If you love this and wanna do more, I have a seven day beginner rebounding program for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build on this every day. We're gonna try some new moves and we're gonna do it while having fun. Okay, so if you wanna do that, click the link here, the card, and then it's just a little program where it's just a one fee where you get to practice new moves and you have guidance to learn everything you need for your rebounding journey. Thank you so much for jumping with me.